Hello YouTube, uh, it's Magma Rhino here, and I am bringing you the ASOS E-Pad. It has just been updated to 3.0 uh, just now. It was released maybe 10 minutes ago, and I wanted to get a video out as soon as possible so I could be the very first one to bring you the uh, updated Transformer. So this is it rebooting right now. It was uh, just been um, updated, so this is the initial reboot. And... Um, so I'll be showing you some of the new features, even though there are few. Uh, they are, some of them are significant. One of the most significant is it is supposedly now compatible with Netflix. So if that is so, uh, that'll be very good indeed for well, all tablets really. Although Asus and the Acer Iconia tab have been the only ones that weren't really compatible with the uh, the um, app that you could download from alternate websites. It's not official, but it still works. Um, other 3.2 updates include uh, app resizing, so it works better. The um, buttons in some apps used to say really tiny on the big tablet screen. Now you have the option to expand everything so it's scaled equally. Uh, it's going to be more pixelated, but it's your choice. I think it'll make it better. Other than that, uh, there's been some bug fixes, optimizations, and uh, you can move more things to the SD card. I'm not sure exactly what, but I know there are uh, more things that you can transfer to it and still read from the device. So just give it a minute here for it to reboot. Uh, this is the first time since the update, so it will take a little bit longer than it usually will. And uh, when it does, I'll just show you the Netflix app, then I'll show you uh, one of the apps that wasn't resizing properly before this update. Uh, I'll also show you the settings just to verify that it is version 3.2. And that's about it. So I'll be back once this is uh, turned on, if it doesn't turn on soon. Alright, so I paused it and a second later it booted up. So that kind of sucked, but whatever. Alright, so here it is, freshly booted. It's going to take a little bit for it to just kind of load up. Nothing out of the ordinary. Let's go into settings here. About tablet. And there it is, Android version 3.2. I'll zoom in for you. So it is officially version 3.2. Sorry if that's out of focus. Alright, now Netflix. This has been the uh, main thing people were looking forward to ever since the rumor was released about a week ago that it should be working. So let's just see if this works. Still has some error message. Maybe you can download from the market, I'm not sure. I'll check quickly. Um, so, I don't know if those rumors were true or not. Uh, let's see if the app isn't here. Yeah, it's not here. So I don't really know what the deal with that is. Maybe somebody else could figure it out. It's a different file you have to download. I don't know. Uh, anyway, let's go to the apps. I took a picture of an app called Speed Test before this update. Unfortunately, I'm not really sure where it went. But here, let me load it now. There's this new compatibility zoom. So now I can change this so that it actually fits the screen. Whereas before, it would be smaller like this. So that is a big improvement. Other than that, there's the uh, bug fixes. Can't really show you them, but uh, and I can't really tell if they work yet or not. But I'm hoping they do. Uh, it looks like here there's a new for the weather app. They've added some information about the last update time, uh, so it tells you the last time it was updated. That's good because sometimes it doesn't update and you don't know. Other than that, that seems like it's just about all. 
Uh, thanks for watching. If you like my videos, please subscribe, and uh, I'll hopefully be posting more videos soon. Thanks.